The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, I don't normally delete videos before they, you know, or rather recordings before I make them into videos. Every now and then something to record right, but I mean, you all dealt with my bad audio for years, so you know that that bar is pretty, pretty high uh, or low, depending on your point of view. Uh, meaning the shit audio goes out. Okay, just sometimes need to be pedant. Uh, but every now and then, just something doesn't quite land right, or I think about it later, and and uh, I delete video, so uh, or delete a recording before I I throw it into processing. So yesterday, uh, I read a mail, and the mail was basically is, is a very convoluted mail. So there's actually two problems. One, that the mail itself was um, scrambled. I think is the best way to put it. I, the uh, the writer was trying to make a point, but it was it was difficult to kind of deal with what it was. And then uh, I got irritable about the entire thing because it was touching on a topic that that I've touched on a lot. And to this point of, I don't think there's more really to say. Um, at this point, I and and maybe I think some of you need to hear this. <laughs> I'm fine. It, we don't agree. Like it's okay that we never agree on this topic. That there's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't need people to agree with me in order to have a satisfying, fulfilling life. I find that behavior weird. I know some people do, uh, that they will keep arguing to infinity. You can just look at Twitter, and that's an example of people who just do not know when to just say, call it a day, and, and you know, I do, agree to disagree. I hate that phrase, by the way, but uh, but it just it doesn't really matter. A lot of this stuff, it, it, it doesn't matter over time. So, uh, anyway, the topic in, in you know, it, it's been covered in a couple of videos is really do the, you know, ed, I'm paraphrasing here, but do the creators hate the fans and um, my perspective, and it may not be yours. And that's fine. Um, people come into the comments like, no, I disagree. You're wrong. No, I, I'm not wrong. This is my belief. You can have whatever you want. Uh, but my general belief is there's a couple of them who probably do, uh, or definitely do. There's definitely a couple of creators out there who, uh, just like to, or rather, it's not necessarily hate the fans. The interesting thing is, um, I, I mean, to me, the words matter. So it's, it's not like people are sitting around in their apartment lair, you know, surrounded by their cats, uh, you know, rubbing their hands together, going, how would I destroy the fan base today? Ah, 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 I get such pleasure when I make them cry. It, it's not like that. Um, what you have is more uh, so a handful of creators who like to troll. Meaning they they really enjoy winding people up, getting a reaction out of people. Why do they do this? I don't know. Brain damage, maybe. Uh, character flaw, certainly. I don't know. It's 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 for people who troll. Whatever you're troll, like like aggressively troll. So uh, you know, people like uh, I, I don't know. Like, well, the, the Andrew Farrago is taking various shots at me. This is a guy who wakes up in the morning and thinks I'm going. You know, it's quiet. Nothing's going on. And he thinks, how can I poke the world and get people all riled up and get some attention? Honestly, that's the root of it. It's it's getting some attention. There's nothing going on in normal life of any substance. So it's like, you know, I I note that when I post a uh, a nice benign uh, tweet that says, uh, boy, I sure miss, uh, you know, I sure miss the Perez artwork on a poster. It was really great how you would put every, and the composition was incredible. You get like 20, 20 likes. But when you post like, I'm drinking the man baby tears of all the childs attacking comics. Ha ha, you hate bastard bigots, but I drink your pain. Then it's thousands of likes because people like that drama shit. That, that's at the end of the day. And there are a lot of creators and there's some of them admit it. Mark Brooks has, it, they, we don't have to guess. He said he likes to do this. He's openly said he likes to do this. Dan Slott has said he likes to do this. Tom King at times has said he'd like to do this. They, there's people who enjoy it. I, I think there's a uh, you know another handful of people who kind of do borderline, and I'm not using the words casually on on true mental illness, who are, are you know addicted to social media, just vomiting up whatever crazy idea goes into their head. You know, capitalism is white supremacy, and I eat cat food like like that. Yeah, okay, you you probably should be you know with professional help somewhere. I, I think that there's there's a handful of those, but by and large, the vast majority of people in comics who work in and and I do mean vast majority are not at war with the fans. They're they're just doing a job. They're just trying to like get paid and and move on. They do not think about these things. And and I give you this example or this this I'm just example the fact 
if you go to the comics, and by the way, nobody has ever, whenever everybody's like, Birch, I disagree. No one ever argues with this exact point. So get your pencils ready. Come at me, bro. If you look at all the people creating comics, writers, colorists, pencilers, inkers, editors, etc., all of them, and you were to compile a spreadsheet and just put all those names down on, on, on this in, in one form, and then you go cross-reference with who's active on Twitter, you're going to hit less than 10% of the people who are in comics. Less than 10. The, the majority, and again, the vast majority of people in comics are not fucking around in Twitter. It may feel like that because you're in comics and you like comics and comics, Twitter, you know, it, but, but if you really kind of take a step back, you start to notice it's the same, you know, 50 odd people. Well, 500 comics produced a month, let alone all the people who are not actively working on a comic in a given month, various legends, etc., people from the past. You've got thousands of individuals. And, and the people who are really active, churning up, trying to get crazy, you're talking in the 50 to 100 range. It's tiny. So what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that the vast majority of people working in comics are just trying to do their fucking job. Um, and they're not there. But and, and by the way, that takes nothing away from many of you who have made very valid points about the a-holes out there who are out there poking and anti antagonist. I agree with you. I agree. There's no there's no reason for that. And please don't uh, sleep on that statement I just made, because a lot of people like to ignore it. Oh, Perch says everybody's great. No, no, everybody's not. And if you're acting like a buffoon, then the, the proper and correct thing to do is your employer goes. Hey, you're fired. That is a proper and correct thing to happen in this situation if somebody is out there deliberately poking and antagonizing people. But let's not pretend it's the vast majority of people in comics because it just isn't. Now, why is that important to me? Well, because it to me it 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 paints, and again, this this applies just to me, I'm not trying to convince you, I'm not trying to change your mind. But to me, I, I think if if the the entirety of comics was out there intentionally at war with uh, its customers, I, I mean, first of all, it would be a completely broken system and it would disintegrate very very fast. And no, uh, the comics is still plugging along, doing great. No, living up to its potential. No, not that either. But it's not dying tomorrow. And. One of the reasons is it's it's still a handful of people. Now, now the, the one bit that does kind of irk me or, or that, that frustrates me, and maybe it frustrates you too, is, okay, if you sign on to everything I just said, it is a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a small amount of creators in the grand scheme of things, all the people working in comics who are out there uh, being, being crazy people online. Why does anybody do anything about it? Like, uh, you know, it's, it, it, you, you can't sit there and, and go to one of like a, you know, a David Gabriel, for example, who does not, you know, troll fans on social media. But he is in a position where, in theory, David Gabriel could come in and say, hey, a bunch of you are fired for doing this. Why doesn't he do that? And I do think that's a problem. I do think people should be held accountable. And, and like I said in other videos, you know, to me, the, the thing that, you know, frustrates me over time more is not, the uh, freelancer who's trolling uh, people on on social media, it's the management that isn't stepping in to do something about it. That does that does frustrate me. Now, I don't think they're equivalent because there's a lot of factors. If you've ever run a company or hired independent contractors or freelancers, it's not like you. It, it's not as simple to walk in there and be like, oh, "I'm going to fire everyone." I see people every now and then uh, come and tell me, like, if I was the president of Marvel, I'd go in there and fire everyone on day one, and then. On day two, I'd, I'd give them all a finger and I'd hire them back so I could fire them again because fuck those people. And, okay, sounds nice and it's a wonderful fantasy. That is how you, that, that is lawsuit town, what you're describing, because a lot of these companies are formed in states where just walking in and wholesale firing everybody is difficult. You know, you, you can fire somebody for cause, you have to have some justification. It's if you, uh, if you do, you know, you take advantage of layoffs. You can do that, but then you've got to, you know, th there's a bunch of factors here and be, it's not easy. Now, I think people should still do it, 
But I, I think we all should be, you know, be able to have a grown up conversation around how it's not as simple as just walking in with a giant cowboy hat and and chaps and and uh, firing your bill. Although it'd be hilarious to see C.B. Samolsky in a cowboy hat and chat. Well, maybe not that hilarious. Anyway, the other, the, but I, I went astray kind of explaining some of this, and now we're at ten minutes, so I, I need to wrap this up. But the other part of this video, uh, maybe I'll get to next. So this is the first half, and they'll do the second half. Because the mail that I answered in the video that ultimately got deleted was somebody who largely agreed with everything I just said. Um, but their their frustration, their question was about the fans. And the question was really about why do the customers, why do the fans need this to be true? Why do they need it to be a case where, you know, the the creators all are frustrated and dislike them? Why, why is that? Why is that such a, a lightning rod for people? And uh, the, the mail writer went down a path I couldn't sign on to agree to. It, it just made me angry, uh, to be honest. I did not agree with what the, the letter writer was saying. Um, but I, I won't deny one part of it. Every single time I do a video where I say, you know what, the creators, are, they don't think about this as much as you think. I get very intense reactions. For sure. It's probably the the thing I say that gets people the most pissed off. Uh, they're the lowest rated videos. I mean, it never drops below real ninety percent, but still, they're they're the lowest rated in everything. And people don't like it. People do reaction videos, and people take it wildly out of context. Well, Bert says everybody's everybody loves us. Okay, again, no. But why? Why that particular topic? Why does that make people so uh, intense? Like I said, it's I'm at the 10 minute mark or a little bit past it now. So um, let's let's answer the second half of that in another video. We'll do a good old classic, uh, you know, crossover. So part two coming up in a minute. Thanks for listening.